I want you to put me back in the rock. Manny needs the chance to do the right thing. I saw Kyle take that key. She's lying. I don't know what's happening to me. Uh -huh. Finally. Camp's over. Let's go. As for you, young lady, well, I'll talk to you later. The history of the Shoebox Zoo is long and complex. And at last, part of that history was to live again. The wolf room. But of course. An eagle, a bear, a snake, and a wolf. My little wolfie. What a strange twist of fate that you shall be the one to lead her to the book. <laughs> Take the page that was written for you, Marnie. The rest is emptiness. Emptiness soon to be filled with darkness and destruction. Marnie! We're here. Marnie, are you okay, sweetheart? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I'm just tired, I guess. Oh, wait, wait. You don't seem yourself. Being rude to adults, falling out with your friends, I just don't understand your attitude. My attitude? What about your attitude, Dad? Showing up to camp with... with Becky's mom? Money, I think we talked about that. <sighs> Sweetheart, I know sometimes I don't understand you and I don't pretend to, but I think even your mom would worry about you. But she's not here, is she? Look, Marnie, if I could bring her back, I would. But I can't. I miss her too. But she's gone, and we can't bring her back. Hey, you're back. How's my girl? Marnie, that's no way to treat your grandma. Now, don't you dare walk away from me, young lady. Ross, let her be. I don't understand what's gotten into her. She'll calm down. <sighs> I can't take this old devil. Well, I'm gonna have to shut you down. Will you stop tinkering? They've arrived. I'll deal with you later. All is lost. Trapped in the shapeshifter's palace. I, I'm not a wizard. I have no power. How's a wee weasel imprisoned in a cage supposed to help the chosen one? Trust yourself, man. Michael! You have more power than you know. Believe in yourself, and you may yet win the day. Oh, I've got to get out of here. Still talking to yourself, McTaggart. Your torture will be over soon. One way or the other. Uh, there must be a way out. There must be. <laughs> Gotta be patient, Hunter. It's not our time yet. I'm a nag of action. Ain't my style sitting here on my rump, twiddling my fetlocks? Look, if you're not gonna help Marnie, then I'll just have to do it myself. Son, there are things you don't know. Yeah, well, there's one thing I do know. Nothing gets done by knowing. It gets done by doing. Give me the eyes.
Look, you guys, Aurora's got the torn page, so, I mean, I don't even know if there's been another rune or not. And if you guys ever want to be human again, then you better start helping me. But how? Think about the runes. A snake rune, a bear rune, and an eagle rune. <laughs> then the wolf rune has got to be next, right? <laughs> That's the puzzle. That's what the torn page has been trying to tell me this whole time. I've got to bring Wolfgang back. <laughs> Come to me, Wolfgang. I command you. Come to me, for I am your master. Why do you torment me, Marni? Why cannot you leave me in peace? Do you know the secrets of the spirit world? You must. Then will you lead me to the book? I cannot. Cannot or will not, Wolfgang. You have been corrupted, Mani. The power of the book is too strong. All right. I'll take you as far as my spirit allows. Can't you sit here? Marty's in trouble. Gotta let her walk her path. But I told you, Grandpa, something's really wrong. I mean, leaving Bruno on that rock? And stealing the bowl of wisdom and the arrow of truth and pinning it all on me? I mean, what is she gonna do next? What'd she want that old bow and arrow for anyway? She has a deep purpose in mind. She'll destroy them or use them. So what? What are we gonna do? Wait? Wait and see if she does good or bad? You're right, grandson. The darkness has spread. There's only one thing left to do. Why did I ever let you talk me into this? We need to help Marnie. Find some way to help her. Draw the evil out of her. We need some magic. Yes. But why are we going to Michael's palace when Michael is long gone? Michael may be long gone, but perhaps his power isn't. Hang on, Elsa. Oh, thanks for the tip. I'd never have thought of that. I'm sure she'll be back soon. She must have calmed down by now. She's had plenty of time. I'm worried about her. She's been acting pretty strange. She's just not herself. Time is what she needs, Ross. I think she's still grieving. Even now? After a year? She'll come out of it when she's ready. Well, maybe I've been a little harsh. I think I better go find her. In your heart, you know this is wrong. What's wrong? What you are planning to do. You don't know what I'm going to do. You want your mother back. That's natural. But trying to do it, that's wrong. Just shut up and keep going. 
You swore to help me. What exactly is your plan? Simplicity itself. We turn McTaggart back into... Well, back into McTaggart. And then he pretends to be Michael with his cloak and staff, etc. And he persuades Marnie to do the right thing. Mm -hmm. And how exactly do you propose to do that? The dread secret beneath the woodshed could no longer stay buried. Nathaniel and his people had kept it there for a long time, but its power had festered, and what was left would not give up without a fight. Marnie! It's no use. I'm trapped. We're wasting our time. Oh, surely we can do a simple thing like turn a weasel back into McTaggart. If Michael were here, he'd do it with a wave of his wizard staff. I heard his voice earlier. I think maybe the magic lingers. Then let's try it. Come on, Elsa. Lend a hand. Lend a coil. Oh, look, help, will you? So we'll never shift it. It's against the laws of physics. We are working with the laws of magic, you silly servant. See? It's moving. Oh, it's moving. She must cross, and I will follow. Me? Michael oh. Scott? <sighs> nah. You've got to be kidding. But you look the part. You can do the magic. No, I can't. But I'm, I'm not a wizard. McTaggart, you were his servant for 1,100 years. Don't tell me you didn't pick up the odd spell. Like a simple travelling spell, for instance. Well, maybe. OK, OK, I'll have a go. <gasps> for the sake of the chosen one. Kyle, 
Hunter! It's too dangerous. He must go now. I'm not going anywhere without you, Grandpa. Gotta stay. Gotta stay and look after the book. The book? Yes, Kyle. May the spirits forgive me. The book! The whole time you knew he was here. And you never told us? Back to the campfire, you'll be safe. Go, grandson! Go! There is a path, little one. It's so easy. Just a few steps, and the quest will be over. steps. Cross through the illusion with me. Find the book, and with it, your mother who loves you so dearly. Come. We are so close. We are so close. No, Manly, no! Mr. Stop! Oh dear. If only the clothes did make it the man, McTaggart. I may be no wizard, but I'm the keeper of the book. And you shall not cross. You are the chosen one. The book is yours to do with as you wish. No, Marnie. You must use the book to do good. She misses you, Marnie. Don't you want to see her? No, Marnie. Don't listen. You don't know what you're doing, Marnie. <laughs> Marnie, no! Marty, you must not do it, child. The Chosen One has made her choice. Don't you understand the second prophecy, fool? When was I born, Weasel? Don't you guess? Eleventh minute. Of the 11th hour. Of the 11th day of the 11th month. The girl child has led me to what is mine. And once I have the book, I shall rise as the Dawn Queen. Now get out of my way. Be gone, man, woman, or beast. By the power of Michael Scott, be gone. <laughs> Oh! <gasps> 
different target. 1100 years and yet moments too late. <laughs> <laughs> the Chosen One had almost come of age, and the moment long dreamt of had arrived, if only her heart was still true enough to grasp it. we have danced and in the end it was you girl child who led me straight to what is mine my book dear Marnie mine Marnie you said that you would do anything <laughs> to bring Marnie Sweetheart, I didn't mean it. Mum's gone. She can't come back. No matter how much we want her to, you know that, Marnie. But she's here. Right here. In our hearts. Forever. <laughs> I believe Grandpa knew where the book was the whole time. Maybe we shouldn't have left. I hope he's okay. Next time on Shoebox Zoo. The power of the Shoebox Zoo must be reunited. Find the money. I don't care about your stupid book or your stupid wizard. I've got it, and I'm not giving it back. I have to destroy it. We may never be human again. <laughs>